So we got a little Thanksgiving spread for you today and we're going to start right over here with our Tom Turkey right here, roasted, slow roasted turkey. We have a Grand Marnier uh, cranberry sauce. We have a brandy and sherry gravy, a little Caesar salad, some apple sage sausage stuffing over here, some roasted garlic mashed potatoes, and last but not least, a little roasted tomatoes and asparagus. And of course, our dessert here is going to be a little bit of fresh fruit, a little pineapple and berries. Bon appetit, guys. Enjoy. Happy Titan family. What's up, guys? John here, and I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. And today, we want to wish everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, from our Titan family to yours, we hope you guys are having a great day. We hope you guys are going to enjoy a whole bunch of good food. And one of our chefs here, Chef Louie, prepared all this for us today. So we're going to get in and dig in on this. It's okay to indulge on Thanksgiving. Share this time with your loved ones, eat good food, be joyous and be grateful. That's the one thing you should be taking away from Thanksgiving. So we hope that you guys are having an amazing Thanksgiving day. We hope you guys are gonna celebrate and eat great food and celebrate for your family and be grateful for everything that you possibly have. Just don't forget, after you eat all this awesome food, to take your Titan therapy so that you can get back on track for 2023. Happy Thanksgiving guys from us to you and I'm so grateful for our team. I love them dearly and um, anybody else got anything to say? You guys are grateful for all the wonderful things in 2022? Yes. Grateful for the staff, grateful yes. for Titan and our patients and our bosses. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving guys! Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Today I want to speak to you about Hercules Potion. Some of the key ingredients, L-citrulline, L-arginine, these increase vasodilation, help you with the focused pump when you're training and exercising. L-carnitine, which helps fat metabolism, can help you lose weight. In addition to that, it has glutamine, proline, lysine, which also help with recovery, antioxidants, decrease muscle soreness. It also has NAC, taurine, and ornithine. These all help with making your workouts longer and more productive and also anti-aging properties as well. If you're interested in learning more about Hercules Potion and other Titan Medical Center therapies, please give me a call. I would love to hear from you and help you achieve your goals. I can be reached at 727-389-3220. Stay strong and stay healthy. What's up guys, Johnny from Titan. And today I wanna to answer a commonly asked question I get from patients and from outside visitors. What do you guys have for anti-aging? What does Titan Medical Center have that's gonna help me turn back the clock, John? And we have a lot of great therapies that we offer patients, but one in particular for anti-aging that really comes to my mind that gets prescribed to a lot of patients is CJC 1295 with ibuprofen. 
So there's two different peptides in this therapy. So you're getting a lot of bang for the buck right off the bat. And then you're gonna ask me, what do these peptides do? So these are GHRH peptides, growth hormone releasing hormone peptides. And what they do in layman's terms are gonna help you stimulate more of your natural growth hormone so your body can get a lot more benefit and turn back that clock on the inside, right? So you guys can start getting better skin elasticity, more lean muscle mass, boost the metabolism, and help you sleep a lot better. These are some of the benefits that a lot of our patients get with CJC 1295 with ipamorelin. As you know, as we get older and our age declines, so does our growth hormone levels. And this is basically like a flower. That's the best way I can describe it. We grow, we blossom, we wither, and we die. So on the decline with your hormones being deficient or specifically your growth hormone, you know, all these things start to lack as far as your skin elasticity. That's why it looks a lot looser on older people. They might be losing a lot more hair. They can't hold the muscle mass that they used to, right? They're not sleeping as good as they used to back when they were younger. These are all symptoms and signs of hormone deficiencies. Specifically in this case, it might be growth hormone. So if you want to stimulate your growth hormone naturally better, CAC 1295 with Iperlin could be and should be probably the therapy for you. If you want to know more information about this awesome peptide therapy that we offer, then call or text us today, 727-389-3220. If you want to read up about it, go check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. And then check out our YouTube videos for all the other great therapies and cool content that we're making for you guys. Just type in Type Medical Center at YouTube and you'll find all that great content there. Thanks guys. My name's uh, Steve Morin. I'm a 38 year old Army combat vet. I like to uh, work out, go on hikes, uh, spend all the time I can with my son, try to do things with youth athletics and other veterans, bringing them to train and also talk after training periods. Actually, I found out about Titan and uh, I was living in Cape Coral, Florida and Dave Palumbo was at the gym that I worked out at. Um, and I heard him talking to other people and he came up to us and told us about Titan. And without a hesitation, I went in to do some research and found nothing but great things about it. Called up and became family instantly with them. Uh, Titan's helped me amazingly. Um, with a brain injury, I found that taking testosterone replacement therapy really brings out the cognitive brain function also bringing me up to a physical peak um, to where I need to push myself to every single day to have that full recovery and the go-getting that I need to do to, to survive day to day. So I use it to really help me get back on, on track. You know, I'm a single father, so it was like I needed something and I wasn't gonna go the other routes with all the pills and this and that. It's like, I'll try every therapy possible before those types of medications. And TRTs saved my life. Our levels, especially being, you know, in your mid-20s, early 30s, your levels are at, are at the highest. But when you get and you stay on those levels, and when, like when I came back and got, you know, the brain injury and everything, my levels were going down. So like my baseline was, was nothing. So being on TRT kind of got me back to that baseline and then some. I knew, you know, about it before, obviously, in the military and stuff like that. Because it's, it's one of those things where you want to do it to the left and right, you'd be at their best. And that's nothing but, you know, the natural ability. You bring them to their levels where they're supposed to be, you know, you're good to go. And that's how I've always been. So, so I got into like that research with it and then started doing it. And uh, just saw so much and was like, all right. And with these guys tighten, they, you know, you get your lab done, you're always, they keep you up to date with it. So there's no, for me, there's no like anxiety of how my blood work is, is this going, blah, blah. They take every like all that stress away from me just to kind of live and, and do my life because you know? it helps so i got four buddies that do it right now and we all were in some low places so with trt keeping a gallon of water a day is nothing it's not it's it's so normal and that's what i tell people it's like they have a headache and this and like you're drinking enough water let's start with that and bring yourself up and trt opens the door for everything else I, for me personally um, with eating right the sleep that I get. I never had nightmares or nothing like that, but being on TRT, I actually wake up and feel rested. You know, I can sleep and be like, I feel good, versus that constant up and down, wake, go to sleep, awake, you know what I mean, all night long? Yeah. TRT gives me that, a good baseline for everything. It has, and that's why my new thing is, it's helped me so much, because before, like, I have social anxiety. So my doctors never believe I could do this, or nothing like that. Um, and taking this and I'm, what I'm trying to do now is get veterans to train in the gym, whether it's CrossFit, powerlifting, just anything, stretch, 
but come there you're gonna be with a bunch of other veterans and we can either talk during those exercises because sometimes you're in a gym with your, your buddy the shit gets kind of deep and you guys can really open up to each other so it's the same thing we can either do it before or um, after the workout or during it and then you get like that little veteran meeting and you know, it will blow some steam off get things to other people and at the same time you're helping your body you're physically taking that next step every day to get better and better with my injury when I first found out my brain injury, I was 253 pounds when I got out. I was pretty big. And I lost over 100 of it in less than eight months. Um, my mom was a director at two hospitals down Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. All the doctors were trying to figure everything out. Taking blood, just trying to figure it out. It was all up here. So I would, um, you know, I wouldn't eat. And I, it's not like I wouldn't try to think about it. I just never thought about eating and stuff like that. I'd go all day long. I was doing that fasting before it was cool. Um, so the MK677 really actually, the VA is giving me stuff for appetite and nothing comes close. This was actually, oh man, like I actually ate, but I was holding it on. You know, I wasn't losing my weight. I was actually holding it on and I, it was two pills a day, a pill a day or something like that. In about two weeks of taking it, I felt the difference. Yeah, especially in the gym. I was like, yeah. Glutathione was amazing. It was a month-long therapy, and that month was amazing. Um, that got me back to knowing what feeling, my body feeling good is again. Um, healthy, it was, it was great. Five, six years ago, that's why when I heard you guys had it, I was like, it's like literally that you take it, and you're like, wow. And then by three, four days, you're like, I'm thinking to myself, is this normal? Is like, this what healthy feels like now? Um, I felt clean, I felt, yeah. Stuff. And that's why I tell people like whole food and a lot of water, get your supplementation, like you know, your hormone level check, and you'll be good to go. Oh, definitely, definitely. If you're trying to up your game, get to optimum levels, Titan's definitely the way to go. Um, it's bringing you back up to making you feel and know what good is again. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Another great episode to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help take your relationship to the next level, to the highest peak you could possibly get, and have fun doing it. So uh, this week is a pretty good topic. I think this is for couples that when they start to get more serious, um, this conversation is going to come into play. And you might have had this conversation with your significant other about what you want to do. So let's talk about the topic today that we're going to talk about. That is dun, 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 little weddings versus big weddings. Uh, and what does it mean to you? Right? And what would you want to do or what did you do? And would you do it again? So at that point, you know, this one hits home on different people in different ways. Yeah. You know, some people have big budgets. Some people have little budgets. Some people have no budgets. Some people just have, <laughs> uh, you know, different preferences of what they want. 
So this is a really, really big, big topic, I think, with yeah, couples. Think so. You know, first, you know, you get to meet somebody, you start dating somebody, you guys fall in love. Uh, at that point, the engagement comes. And when the engagement comes, after that, you're going to plan that wedding. How long is it going to take to plan that wedding? When is that wedding going to happen? Wow. Uh, you know, obviously COVID <laughs> threw a monkey wrench in for a lot of people that want to have their weddings. Oh, yeah. Um, and the and size they had of their have, weddings. had to have like tele-weddings or whatever it was. Uh, you know, yeah. Some people's weddings really got <laughs> ruined with, with COVID. So, yeah. you know, taking COVID out, let's say everything is perfect out there and uh, you have no restrictions whatsoever. Um, you know, when you have this conversation, you know, with your significant other, you guys really are going to talk about it, right? And I think there's a whole bunch of different, like like I said, things that people are going to say or the way they feel about it. You know, especially, I think, females. I think girls are more into, I want the dream wedding. I want the big wedding. I want everybody to attend. I want the perfect dress. I want all the flowers. I want the yeah, best Yeah, they got the bridezilla dishes. and shows yeah. and stuff <laughs> like that, right? Yep. No, but I mean, me personally, like, this was a thing, you know, so when I was little, I, all these girls, they dream of like the, you know, the, um, like the horse and carriage and, you know, falling out of the sky and all these things and, you know, big weddings and a big long dress and, you know, this big long trail or train or whatever they call it. The storybook. So, the, storybook the, the storybook wedding, right? So me personally, I've never actually like dreamed or thought or even honestly cared about something like that like I wasn't little I was like oh man I want to do this and I want this dress and I want to be on a little thing and get there was literally like no thought process behind it whatsoever it was just kind of like yeah wedding cool all right no big deal so you know some people it's a really big deal too yep. I mean especially you know cultural people they they have like in the Indian culture right or Greeks or Greeks you know they have a they have very special things that they do they might put on saris you know whatever it might be and it's, it's a very cultural type thing then you have some people you know they may not have the budget to do a big wedding because think about it weddings aren't cheap no okay i mean even like for john's birthday if i wanted to pay like set up everybody's plate and we're talking big bucks here right even if it was let's just call it if it was 35 or 40 dollars a plate and you invite let's say you invite over a hundred people, you're just, that's just food, right? We're not talking about the decorations, right. the band, right. you know, the With cake, DJ, yeah. your dress, your yeah. shoes, Flowers, his tux. Decor. I mean, there's so much to go into it, right? Me personally, I'm not, I'm not really that girly girl that like wants to plan things and, you know, wants to put together this cool, you know, outstanding girly girl thing. That was just me personally. So, you know, John lucked out. <laughs> he got he got lucky, right? I, th I think honestly, John, you probably wanted to probably want a, you were more into like the bigger wedding. I kind wanted, of thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, Greeks and we do it right. You know, yeah, they you do. You want to make sure that, you know, everybody's there. Um, you have a great wedding, you know, church wedding and mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of these different things that, you know, that it's just tradition, right? And yeah. that's, that's what it is. And uh, I think with, especially the Greek culture, um, you know, exactly. that's what it is, right? We, yeah. like, we like to dance. We like to, you know, we like to drink. We like to enjoy celebrate. and celebrate, right? And so, you know, I guess it's different for everybody out there, especially, like I said, what's going on right now, or let's just take it away of, you know, just daily life. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but listen, it is what it is. You know, at that point, if two people love each other, I, you know, that's I think that's all that, that really matters, right? That, you know, you can have any sort of wedding, whether it's just you going down to the justice of the peace and getting married or eloping. And at that point, you guys can have a very successful marriage. It doesn't take a big wedding to create a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, you know, like I said, some people have these, you know, they have these dreams, these girls or guys too, that they want these big weddings or they think this is what a wedding should look like. And if it doesn't happen like that, then they don't really want to do it. They don't feel right about or it. Or maybe they don't think like, I don't know. I think that it has like an impact on like how they feel about, you know, this each other. Like love me. they don't love me. You know, it's, do this for me. You know, and honestly for, you know, me personally, to me, like marriage, it really is just a piece of paper, yeah. right? It really is a piece of paper. Yeah. I mean, when you start getting into the bigger bucks and the bigger money and you start ah. making a little bit more money, then it's more than just Post a piece up. of paper. <laughs> Post up. <laughs> there is a such thing. Is there really? There is such, such, such thing as a post up. No way. Yes, there is 100%. I'll so, never be signing yeah. that. So definitely. <laughs> 
prenup for sure. If you know out there, and you know that that's the no, that's a whole other conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I have friends out there that you know they're during those higher levels, uh, and prenups are definitely in there. So mm-hmm. that's and that, thing. that that's that's in a whole not, yeah that is a that's whole, a whole other, other topic. That's a whole other conversation whole other for sure. But you know, it's just um, it really it really is just a piece of paper, right? Because you know, and then the next thing is is on the same topic, right? They say that once you get married, that things change. Mm, true. Right? Haven't true. you heard that? True, yeah. Like, you know, that things change once you get married. Yeah. Like, the set, the mindset changes. Or, like, now you're in a comfortability mode. Yeah. And it's not dating mode anymore. And all the dates disappear. Things change, right? Uh, you know, I just... Well, it didn't with us. So it's hard for us to really talk on that topic specifically. But, I mean, it, they say that it does, right? It, it does, and I think different people do. And I don't think it's just with, with marriages. I think it's just relationships in general. You know, because think about it. You know, when you're in the honeymoon phase and begin the relationship the first six months, per se, in most relationships, it's, it's just goo goo gaga. After you get past the first one or two years, then it's kind of, you know, you're starting to get more relaxed, I guess, in the relationship. Mm-hmm. That's where complacency or all these other things come about. Uh, so if you keep going on, per se, after two or three years, you know, it's kind of where you hit the complacency. I guess when marriage hits for sure, then you're like, oh, well, I'm with this person forever at this point. Well, mm-hmm. I won't do anything. I won't go work out like I usually went and worked out to keep myself fit like I usually would. Or I won't do this or I won't do that. Or, you know, you know if she's buying me, I'm going to fart on her or whatever it may be. Oh, my God. So He's going to fart on you. There's different things out there, you know, that, that couples have to go through, you know, in complacency. Guys, just so the, for the record, just so you know, okay, I don't care who you are. It's not okay to fart around your significant other, okay? I mean, you can't, guys can definitely get away with this, right? Yeah, so girls just, know. You kind of do it and it's like, whatever, you're just a guy, right? <laughs> but if you're a girl. You have the excuse. <laughs> you're a man, all yes. right. You're 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 allowed yes. two farts per day, yes. right? However, if you are a female, do not get comfortable and do this. Don't you dare. This is not a cute look. No. And don't turn around and smile about it because I can assure you, they might smile back, but... They're really not thinking what's on their face. Yeah, when you get in the bedroom, you start thinking about this. No go. <laughs> no go. You'd be damaging your sex life with this. Don't do it. <laughs> All they can think about is when the last time you farted. Be Let's like, have oh, some cute. fetish that I don't know about. You know, that's a whole different story, too. So. <laughs> So, oh yeah, so, I mean, this is just something to think about, you know, and, and listen, if you don't want a big wedding and your significant other does, so let's say you're a guy, you're like, listen, I just don't want a big wedding, whatever it may be, and they do, you guys are going to have to talk about this. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is a serious conversation when you're in a relationship. That's what we talked about last week or one of the other weeks when, you know, talking about some of these big things as you get into the relationship to know where it's going to go or to make sure that you guys aren't going to have those no goes as far as what you guys are doing, mm-hmm. whether it's for your kids or for you know for your religion or for how you're going to get married. The religion's a big one too, you know, because I mean, and I'm, I'm going to use the Greek culture specifically, um, and even the Indian culture, right? So there's some people that refuse, right? They they're like, listen, I'm not going to be like you know, like Catholic, right? I'm not going to be married outside of a Catholic church or right. a Greek Orthodox church. I'm not going to get married outside of that, and that is what it is, and it has to be right. done that way, right? That's just like it's it's a it's a religious thing. Sometimes you have the cultural thing, you know, like the Indians. They have very this this type of setup with you know <laughs> whatever they call it, the saris, and they got these little bags of like mushed up stuff. I forget what it's called. Sorry, mom. But it, you know, Indians it, it, usually have three like parties, celebrations, right? It's like three parties. I just know that they have these very. I know that they have like the Indian wedding, and then after the Indian the ceremony, then you have like the wedding, right. and then you have the reception. Right. So it's kind of like it's that. The three parties, yeah. But you know, um, some people are just that. You you might be able to. T- this is what he was saying. You know, like to talk it out in the beginning and yeah. be like, you know, is this something that we can work out? Because yeah. listen, if you really truly love someone, that will trump anything yeah. right if you really truly love someone you're gonna work with them or figure out how to make it happen because you love them that much nothing else matters yeah. like nothing else in the world matters yeah. except for you and him or you and her yeah. right yeah. nothing else matters i mean and kind of think about it like this too as well you know now listen this is a special day and you want to make it special for your significant other whether it's your girl your husband whatever it may be so at that point, keep that in mind when you're playing this. This is a one-time thing, hopefully. That's what you're betting on, right? <laughs> Not nowadays. You don't want it to be multiple because you really be hurting a lot of ways. But 
one time. So make it special. Whatever it is, whatever your budget is, you can make it special. Mm -hmm. Whether it's having a big wedding where everybody comes in and you want to do that and you're good with that and you're spending the money, or you're like, hey, listen, we got to save money, or we can maybe buy a house with this money, or we do can something take the money different. and go on a vacation. But we can still do something right. special, you know, as far as for this day, and we can always remember this day too as well. You know, listen, even dressing up and getting the pictures done for your photography, mm -hmm. you know, that could be inexpensive. That, right. That's not a big thing. Your memories and all this good stuff um you can have something small you can invite you know, your closest people um like kind of how we did and at that point you know you'll be good to go um mm -hmm. you know we didn't have a big wedding you know mm -hmm. it was it wasn't in the, the books financially for it us was not in the books um, financially. what we want to do at that point we're like ah oh, we'll do it later we'll do the big wedding later we'll do the big wedding later. you, you know, know i still think right because we'll be rolling up on 15 years probably really soon i think that might be too soon so maybe at 20 year mark right maybe at the 20 year mark i really think that me and john should do like a Renewment renewal. of vows. Oh, like we don't need to renew anything, but we'll just call it that. Um, just to have the party. The real. But I think really at that point in our lives, you know, hopefully, obviously, we should hopefully be okay financially. I would hope so, and then be able to do something really cool to make up for you know not having the big wedding. You know, mm. I'm not planning this though. For the record. On the record for this episode, I'm not planning this wedding. Somebody else. I picked the colors blue and white. The rest of it. Somebody else going to do it for me. I'm not the planner. Yep. But so, I think it'd be cool. It'd be yeah. cool. It'd be cool. We'll see what happens. 20 years. It's a long time. Yeah, uh, no yeah you know, hopefully. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be 60 in 20 years. No, you're well, not. not. at 20. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 20 be, years we've been, ma we've been married, not 20 so, years from now. Let's say it's another six years. I'm going to be 46 years That's old. That's not that old. He literally said that he's going to be, be 80. closer to 50 than I will be 40, so we're on the older side. There. <laughs> Did you really you know? just say we'll be 80? Or no, 60, house? 20 years I from now. I hope I live to see 80. 20 years from now, I said. Don't worry, baby. I'll, I'll change your diapers and stuff. I'm going to have a robot for that. <laughs> Elon Musk is building it for me. Oh, my goodness. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Elon and Tesla. <laughs> Can't say I'm a Tesla she fan. Hates Tesla. I hate Tesla. All right, so that kind of sums it up, guys. Talk about the, the wedding details, uh, you know, and compromise if you need to. Important. You know, think about what's going to be best for your family, your relationship going forward, and try to make all parties as happy as possible, um, especially your wife. You know, they're going to want special things. Try to do the best you can with giving them that and making it special for their day and for yours. Yeah, if you guys haven't had, like, you know, the whole wedding talk yet, um, maybe pick up on the hints. If they're drop, dropping the hints, like, to get the ring, there's lots of hints that they'll give yeah. you to get the ring. Or they might and, say something. And, or <laughs> and make sure you start looking at the numbers before you start saying, oh, yeah, we're going to do that, all that, whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> you start, like, oh. What? No, don't do that. <laughs> so this is just some more tips and tricks for me and Cherise. Uh, our life experience, you know, especially on this one. Mm -hmm. And we know a lot of other people in both categories of what mm -hmm. this is. So at that point, you guys have to make the decision for yourselves. Make the best decision you possibly can. Talk to your sim together because communication is key. Yes. So this is just another thing for me and Sharice to you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. Join us every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. And if you didn't DVR it, you should do that now. But if you didn't after that... Make sure you guys go to YouTube, check out Titan Medical Center, just type that in. It'll take you to our channel. You'll see all these shows in their entirety and a lot more cool content I guarantee you guys are going to love. And you know what? If you want to check out our therapies on there, they could help your love life and your relationship too. So you can always check that out. All right, guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. Bye.